Good morning, my dudes. It is a beautiful day in Long Beach, California, and today is all about skateboarding. I get a lot of questions from people who are just starting skateboarding about prices and if it matters if they just spend a lot of money as opposed to very, very little money, and today is all about testing out all of that. So I drove down to the local skate shop in Long Beach, LB Skate, to see if they can help me pick out the most expensive possible skateboard I could possibly build. Possibly. The most expensive skateboard, bro. Why is it the most expensive? This board is foreign, like my car. It's not even old enough to drive. <laughs> 57 dollars Oh, that's only eight bucks more than Av Ridge. $65. That's better. These Trust are the forged bears. hollow trucks. These are $31.99 a pop. Ooh! Most expensive gift kit right here. This is 16 bucks a sheet. Jesus. <laughs> These are $50,000. 50,000? I barely have $46,000. $50 actually? This is $50. These are $37. Okay, cool. So now we're just trying to make it more expensive for the sake of making it more expensive. These things right here. Thank you, dude. Thank you. You're welcome, man. What's going on? Mason Malone. Can you do that gesture again? I am the one, the one, the one. He's gonna set on my board because he's awesome as well. So uh, I don't actually know the price of the total right now. So we're gonna figure that out in just a minute. Mikey's gonna ring me up and I told him not to hook it up. Don't give me a discount. You wouldn't do it even if Off you camera, yeah. <laughs> okay. How much is it? Just empty out your bank account and give it to me. Okay, cool. <laughs> how many jackets do you have on? I'll come back tomorrow, just let me know how much you take out. $250. Seriously, what about that discount? As for the cheap skateboard, I went to this very small, cute, local shop you may not have heard of. We at Walmart! Shopping for that skateboard was not near as difficult. Walmart boards are actually $25 cheaper than they were 16 years ago when I got my first one. And right now we're actually meeting up with three to four extremely talented skateboarders to get the full rundown, the full evaluation of what's what. We're gonna start off with the $15 skateboard and just see how it goes. We have the whole posse here today. You saw the intros, you saw the names. Kryptonics! Yeah. Shot my boy Turtle out that I met at Ponderos a couple nights ago. I hope that's what his name was. Right, Carl. It was fifteen dollars. Yeah. I thought it was forty. They were forty when we were kids. Brian Betts up first. What's your favorite oh, it, it doesn't roll. <laughs> oh. First try. Good start. Honestly, first impressions, Brian. Uh, it doesn't roll very well, and it's way too small, and the grip tape is more like sandpaper than grip tape. Okay. Good evaluation. He dolphin flip first try! I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Under the sun, the blast the sun will pop the clock to feed himself and family. Oh. That is such a hard thing to roll. <laughs> what a loser, am I right, guys? I can't roll, you can't roll Vicky. <laughs> jump straight into skating the uh, more expensive skateboard and see how well that performs compared to the other one. Which, by the way, we will get the analysis on after the session. I was gonna bang your wiener with my head.
What are your final thoughts on the $15 skateboard? Bearing suck. Low, very low quality die. It doesn't roll. So the consensus is that it rolls really poorly. You literally get what you pay for. What about the actual deck itself? That was fine. It was really flexible, but... Do you think we could break the board easily? Yeah. I think so. I think you could break it with a toothbrush. Do you think it's worth paying $267 for a skateboard? Not with those wheels you bought. <laughs> <laughs> what was the issue with the wheels? The filming wheels. They're cruising wheels. They're not meant for actual tricks and performance. No, they were rubber. They weren't your thing. What do you think the price range is that you should spend on a skateboard? Bone complete? Yeah. 100 bucks. At least 100 bucks. At least, yeah. Definitely want bone Swiss bearings. I, know, well, I, I, can't say that. Like, I can't say that I'm sponsored. Those are like seventy dollars. No bone sweats. They're twenty. They're forty. Uh, they're 40 okay, forty dollars. Hey, I get reds and they're eighteen. I okay, get bronzes because okay. they're the fastest. Shut up. <laughs> I get blue tile <laughs> because they told me to say that. I would rather spend two hundred and sixty bucks on a skateboard than spend fifteen one, bucks on a skateboard and skate that board. I would way rather skate the board with the bigger wheels and spend the three hundred dollars on it. What is the price of an average skateboard? Well, one hundred twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah. one hundred twenty dollars. Yeah, because the, the they don't have completes. Deck, right? and then you get a piece of yeah. anything, and you buy everything. Here, that, that's, you can, right, okay, well, that, you that's can buy a shop. They have completes. Deck, well, yeah, too. you can buy a stocked up skate shop complete, and it's like ninety nine dollars. And they're bucks. better than that Walmart. Would you guys yeah. recommend that over spending for a new skateboarder? Would you guys recommend that over spending two hundred and sixty dollars? Yeah. Uh, I would still prefer to pick my own stuff. So I would, I guess. If it, you're learning, buy a complete at a skate shop. If it. you're learning, buy a complete at a skate shop. Yeah. I wouldn't care. Thanks, guys. Hey, wait. Let me add something, though. Add. Zuh. You add. usually get what you pay for when you buy a skateboard and you pick out the stuff that's a bit more expensive because it's more expensive for a reason. Follow Brian Betts. <laughs> Spend money. I'll put all the links for all these guys' stuff in the description below. These guys have Instagram. This guy has a YouTube channel. You can check it out. Go down there and see what they're up to as well because they have a lot of fun. They're good at skateboarding and sauce. And it's proof how easy this one breaks. Oh. <laughs> Let's prove how easy it breaks. <laughs> Let's prove how easy this one breaks. No, no, no. Yeah, I built it myself, all the way from the ground up. I'll be following his videos all the time. I see you guys all the time, right? When you guys did that uh, old terrain skateboard. And, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's funny, I told my girl, I was like, man, I want to be on one of the videos. She's always at the park that I'm at. That's so dope. I mean, my homeboy, he has another one too. We actually about to start shooting videos and make a YouTube channel. Yeah. And thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. I hope you enjoyed it very much. And before I log out, I will be making a video every other day until the New Year's and then I'll let you know what the schedule will be like for my channel, when I'm posting videos and all the new changes that I cannot wait to talk about and show you guys and I think it's going to be very, very exciting. So, if you want to make sure that you don't get lost in the hustle and bustle and what's going on, make sure you subscribe first of all. But there's also the notification button on the bell and I know that YouTube sometimes disconnects people from my channel so if you hit that. I think for the most part you should be good and you'll be notified of every single thing that happens and even if I feel the urge to post a video on a day where I said I wasn't going to, then you'll know. So thanks a lot for everything. Love you guys. Progress daily. Keep killing it.